So we were looking at functions of bounded variation. So uh, we had T of Pf for given any partition sigma i equals 1 to n mod f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 and the sup of tpf over all partitions this was called t of a b of f and if this is finite we say function is of bounded variation then we had npf which is sigma i equals 1 to n f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 minus and then sup over all partitions of npf was nab of f and similarly ppf is sigma i equals 1 to n f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 plus and the sup over p of ppf was given as pab of f and we also proved that tab of f equals pab of f plus nab of f and fb minus fa equals pab of f minus nab of f. So now this will help us to characterize functions of bounded variation. So we have the following theorem f a b to r is bound of is of bounded variation if and only if f is the difference of two monotonic functions. So, so this is another easy and nice characterization, no supremum etc. Take if f is can, can be written as the difference of two monotonic functions, then it is of bounded variation and vice versa. If f is of bv, uh, then it can be written in that fashion. Now, monoton functions are bv, some difference of bv functions are also bv. So, difference of monotonic functions is of bounded variation. So, so now we have to prove the converse. So, let us take f is bv. Now, for every x in a b, Okay, you define g of x equals p a x of f and h of x equals n a x of f. Then we are taking after all we are what are you doing when you when you take a partition from a to x and then you have another point y which is beyond that. Now if you want to take the to find p a x and n a x you have to take the partitions here plus some more partitions here and then take the sum and then the supremum. So uh, co consequently given any partition if you of a y uh, or a so it is obvious from this that uh, g and h are monotonically increasing. So, in particular x going to hx minus fa is also monotonic. Now, we saw that uh, fx minus fa is equal to pax f minus nax 
of f which is equal to hx uh, gx minus hx. Therefore, fx equal to g of x minus h of x minus fa. And this is monotonic and this also monotonic. Therefore, every function of bounded variation can be written as the difference of two monotonic functions. So, now important corollary f a b to r bounded variation implies f is differentiable almost everywhere. So, proof monad f equals g minus h g h monotonic this implies g, g and h differentiable almost everywhere and this implies that f is differentiable almost everywhere. So, this is very important. So, bounded variation functions are another class of functions which are differentiable almost everywhere, but they are really coming from the class of monotonic functions because every function of bounded variation is necessarily the difference of two monotonic functions. So, now proposition f a b to r b v function of bounded variation then f dash is integrable on a b f, f dash exists and measurable function we know that and integral over a b of mod f dash dm1 is less than or equal to tab of f. In addition, if f belongs to c1 of a b, that means it is continuously differentiable, then integral a b mod f dash dm1 is precisely equal to T A B of F. So, this on the characterization of the total variation. Total variation is just the integral of T A F mod F dash. Okay. So, proof so x going to P A X of X, x going to N A X of F x going to T A x of f are all monotonic as we saw and so differentiable almost everywhere. Okay. And you also have f x minus f a equals P A x of f minus N A x of f and therefore f dash of x equal to p a x uh, f dash minus n a x f dash almost everywhere. And these are all non-negative because they are the derivatives of monotonically increasing functions. Therefore, mod f dash x is less than or equal to mod p a x f dash plus mod n a x f dash, but they are non negative that is p a x f dash plus n a x f dash. But that is equal to P A X F plus N A X F dash which is T A X F dash. And again this is greater equal to 0. 
and therefore integral mod f dash dm1 over ab is less than or equal to mod f dash is less dx f dash so this is equal to integral over ab tax f dash dm1 but this tax f is monotonic so if you are integrating the derivative of a monotonic increasing function that is less than or equal to tab of f minus taa of f and this of course is equal to 0 because you have no interval there it's just one point and therefore this is equal to 0 and therefore you have proved that integral mod f dash dm1 on a b is less than or equal to t a b of f so we have this inequality now we are assuming now let f belong to c1 of a b so it's a continuously differentiable function so f dash is continuous and therefore you have if p any partition what is f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 by the fundamental theorem of calculus this is xi minus 1 to xi f dash t dt so T of PF which is equal to sigma mod f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 i equals 1 to n is less than or equal to sigma i equals 1 to n integral xi minus 1 to xi mod f dash t dt which is integral a to b mod f dash t dt but f dash continuous function and the Riemann integral therefore Lebesgue integral so this is equal to integral a to b mod f dash dm1 and this is true for every partition so you can take the supremum so t of t a b of f which is the supremum of t p f is also less than or equal to integral a b mod f dash dm so you have one side inequality here another side inequality here and that completes the proof okay so now we will look at uh, this is enough for us for the moment but it's interesting also to know uh, the functions of bounded variation which are vector valued that means taking values in rn we are taking f of a b to r next we will look at f of a b into rn so those you can define the same way functions of bounded variation and prove similar results and it leads to something quite interesting and so we will take it up next time.